Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. I know, a little bit of a different setup. I feel like every single intro, we are changing it up. Before you guys that follow me on Instagram, you know that I got a custom LED sign and I asked you to tell me exactly what it is that I should get. You guys came through with a perfect design, this Hey Babes with the lightning bolt. I'm like so obsessed. Just wanted to talk about that before getting into the video because I feel like I'm gonna get a ton of questions about this neon sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually leave their information down below. Go ahead and check out neon icons. They actually have some sick designs already. And if you want to customize something for your own space, they're really good at helping you out with that too. And with all that, how about we actually get into what today's video is. We're going to be talking about denim today, specifically vintage denim, why I love it, how I thrift it, how I get it, how I find it. And specifically today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my Levi jeans. And if you've watched any of my past thrifting videos, you know how much I get obsessed whenever I see this Levi's tag on any pair of jeans because there's just something about Levi's that are just an amazing quality pair of denim. They will last you a lifetime and they just fit so well when you know what style to get. We're gonna go through all the different styles I have because if you guys don't know, most Levi's are categorized by numbers and those numbers actually all represent how each of the denim will fit. I'm actually first gonna go through all the denim and the Levi's that I've thrifted. Off the bat, let's get into some thrifting tips. So when you're going in and you specifically have your eye on like wanting some nice vintage Levi's, the best thing that I tell everybody, and I feel like it's such an overused rule at this point, is head on over to the men's section. The Levi's tag is gonna be your best friend. So as you can see right here, this patch is actually a cardin patch. It's not a leather patch like the newer jeans. And two other things I want you to obviously keep in mind, you're gonna wanna pay attention to the style number. So the 501 is the style number right here. And then you're gonna see a W and an L, and that stands for the waist size and the length size of the denim. So sometimes with these older tags, the numbers tend to fade out. Here it actually says that the waist size is a 28 and the length is a 32. When it comes to sizing of denim, it can be a little tricky because I feel like every style is kind of made differently. But a general good rule of thumb is a size 28 is equivalent to, I would say, a women's size 4 in like H&M sizes, for example. So because I'm a woman's size 4 to 6, I would usually stay between the ranges of size 28 to size 32 of the men's section denim. So now that we got all these explanations out of the way, I'm going to zoom through these pairs of denim a little bit quicker, tell you what I love about them and specific characteristics that they have. So if you want more of that like iconic vintage style fit, then the 500 line is definitely the one you want to stick to. So starting off with the 501s, what I love about the 501s is that they're very true vintage denim. This pair of denim I thrifted from the men's section like you will know with most of my denim. It's going to be 100% cotton so it's like super stiff. But they have this really unique button fly meaning there's no zipper on the jeans. They have buttons that kind of go all the way up. Some other things to keep in mind about these 501s is that they're actually more of a mid-rise. I actually prefer more of a high-rise because I have a very long torso and my legs are a little bit shorter compared to the average person. So the 501s have that classic straight leg that a lot of people love. If you're looking for like a mom jean style that's not too baggy, 501s is a perfect choice. I definitely get the most questions when I wear these two pair of jeans, but these are actually vintage. And the reason that I say that is because I don't know if they sell these numbers anymore. So I still wanted to share them because we're all lovers of thrifting here. And if one day you get lucky enough to find these styles, you better be picking them up. This is just how the pair of denim look. They're actually 100% cotton. They are the 521 style. So these 520 ones fit a lot like the 501s which I love but they're a little bit more high-waisted so it's exactly what I felt like the 501s were missing for me this is how the tag on these ones look as you can see it's like super super faded and this pair of denim I loved so much but I felt like it cut me off too high and I wanted it closer down to my ankle so what I actually did is I used a seam ripper to cut the seam here at the bottom and then I actually just ironed them down so doing this gave the denim like two extra inches of length plus it added some fun distressing at the bottom too it does have that slight fading but it's really just the perfect worn in blue denim denim color. I remember when I thrifted these ones, I had like short blonde hair. Oh, what a throwback. And they are the 531 style. So the one I just showed you right now was the 521s. These are the 531s. I'm going to show you the video when I just thrifted them. You guys, these were like brand spanking new with tags. I don't know if they were like a re-edition of a vintage style, but they originally are a vintage style because I can't seem to find the 531s anywhere right now. Trust me, I like scoured the web because these are the best Levi fitting jeans ever. Like, do you see how long this fly is? It's so high-waisted. These pass my belly button, which is like all I can ask for because I just love high-waisted fitting denim. They actually hug me perfectly on the waist, but then they fit my bum really well too. This is a suede tag, which I think is so cool. I'm not so tall. So I actually took them to my aunt. She's a seamstress and I got her to hem these jeans a little bit so that now they can fit slightly slouchy. I really love the way they fit. You know what I feel like I need your help with, you guys? I need vocabulary. I need better words to describe clothes because I say vintage, retro, aesthetic, 
way too much. I really need new synonyms for those words. We're actually almost done. Um, I have two pairs of denim to show you that are the same style, obviously just different shadings and colors. And this first lovely style is actually the Levi's Slim Fit. And these ones actually don't have a number or a style. They're really just called Slim Fit. And you could always just find it by looking at the waistband tag. Thrifted in the men's section, they are also 100% cotton. I got them in a waist size 32. So these are a little bit more of a looser fit on me, but I personally really like it. I feel like if I'm going more for like a slouchy jean, these are the jeans that I would reach for. And as for the leg of these, again, 32 is really long. So just like I explained to you guys, if you ever have a long pair of denim, just give it a crop. And then after I threw it in the laundry, it created a little bit of this fraying and distressing. So if you do like the slouchy style of Levi's, like I'm wearing here, kind of a hanging off your hips, wear them with Vans, cool girl look. Because these jeans are actually slim fit as well. I love them a lot because as you can see, they're not really like a true black, but they kind of have this like really, really dark, slightly ashy undertone. I customized these as well, gave them some rips in the knees and some distressing here at the bottom. So because they are a size 30, these ones definitely hug the bum a little bit more, which is why I say you can really get like a more loose fit with any of these denim if you only size up like one or two sizes. So if you get your right size, this is what the slim fit jeans would look like. They are more of a mid, sometimes low rise waist, again, depending on how you wear them, but they're super nice too. As you guys can tell, 100% cotton is my favorite material when it comes to denim because stiff denim is like true denim, you feel me? Okay, and ending it off, I want to go ahead and show you guys um, a style of jeans that have recently become one that I really love too. And these are actually the Levi's that I have not thrifted. And I actually bought them retail in store or like on sale in different places. So these next jeans are a newer style and they are the Levi's ribcage denim. Oh yes, whoever created a pair of denim and said, let's make a sky high waist has become my favorite person because you guys, they go up your entire ribcage. And the Levi's ribcage denim comes in a bunch of different Style. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ones. These are specifically the Levi's ribcage split flare jean And the reason they're called the split flare jean is because they actually go very wide at the bottom and oh look at that They have a split flare. So I know that flare jeans can seem so intimidating But you guys flare jeans don't sleep on them Especially if you have a very high-waisted fit on denim a flare jean can make your legs look so long And what I love about the split flare is that you can still show off your shoes or like whatever sneakers It is that you're wearing. I initially saw these jeans on my friend Rachel when she styled them I was like, oh my god, these jeans are amazing And I immediately asked her where she got them because I needed to get my hands on this denim and I personally Personally, would prefer to wear them with sneakers over heels because I feel like that's my favorite combination lately and I'm just not a heels person. These were originally I think $130. I saw them on the website they were listed for $60 and I was like oh 60 bucks that's an amazing deal for some new Levi's. They came in the mail with a sticker red tag on it that said $40 and I was like wait a minute. So I went back to the store and I told them can you see if this discount applies? So she scanned it and yeah, they were actually $40. So I got a pair of $130 jeans for just 40 bucks. That's my amazing sale story about these. And then these last two are actually the ribcage style as well, but they're not the split flare. And again, they were on sale. I think they were $45 each, which is an amazing deal. But you know me coming through with all the tips, tricks, and sales. If I can find some like really good discounted links, I'm just gonna link everything down below if you wanna shop any of these styles. But yes, the ribcage straight, probably the most popular style of this year. I feel like this is the one that Urban Outfitters has been selling. They are very high waisted straight jean just how wide it is at the top it runs like that all the way to the bottom because the size 27 of the flares was too small I ended up sizing up and I got a size 28 in these ones these are 97% cotton they're not 100% cotton so they do have a little bit of extra stretch to them which is nice it kind of hugs your curves a little better and the reason that I got the rib cages in white is because as I mentioned my 501s are just starting to get a little bit too tight on me. So on days that I want a white jeans and I need more give, this is gonna be the one I reach for. And then last off in the same style, I actually got these, I'm pretty sure in the Tango shade. These are the ribcage straight as well. They have a tiny little bit of distressing. Again, not much to say about these. Got them in a size 22, super, super high-waisted fit. And because they're an ankle fit, some high top Chuck 70 Converse pair so well with these. So yeah, if you just can't thrift a pair of Levi's and you just haven't had any luck at the thrift stores and you wanna buy one for yourself, definitely check out the ribcage style. I feel like they look the most flattering on most body types and again the little bit of stretch makes the whole guessing game of if the size is gonna fit easier. Alright y'all and that is it. That is my entire Levi's collection. 
some of my favorite styles that I would recommend you guys to check out. There are a few styles that I haven't regarded. I know that the wedgie fits are very, very popular. I just don't own a single pair because when I tried them on at the store, they just didn't look flattering on my body type at all. So I did want to still mention that the wedgie fits are a very good possible option for you. But again, here's me just showing you some of my favorite styles, how I thrifted them, where I thrifted them. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. I know it's a little bit different than what I usually do, but I love sharing my thrifted collections with you guys because hopefully it gives you inspiration. When you're heading into the thrift store, you know what to look for so you can be confident that you're gonna find exactly what it is that's on your list. With all that, let me know down below which style was your favorite. Which one do you think suits me the most? Which one would you wanna try out for yourself? And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. If you wanna see me style these, that is probably where you're gonna see the most. So go ahead and follow me on there for some thrifted outfit inspo because I have something thrifted in every single one of my photos. No joke. Be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already to join the amazing family and I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye!